Where's the bunny? Did you get it? Did you get that bunny? Oh, yum. What was that? Is it good? Do the other one. Oh, yeah. Do the other one. Ah. Ah. Good. Are you good? Good Friday morning, everybody. November the 29th. It's a little after 7 in the morning. We're just about ready to head off to that job thing for the day. Check the wood stove. You can hear cows ballard in the background. It's because we separated from for the, from their calves um, yesterday, Thanksgiving of all days. But it was time, and I had time, so it got it got done. I throw a little wood in the wood stove here. Look at the look at the mess I made here. I dumped this old slab pile right inside the door, and we're picking through it, and then uh, we'll get back into the good stuff. But this slab pile will last me a while, so. All right, so as you can see, yesterday, we put that fence line in right there. The posts were in, but we put the barbed wire on it. Then from there, oh, it's up over the hill. Right behind those two cows right there is the other corner section. So we did the stuff along the swamp there, and then it comes back up and to the other side of the shop there, cuts back in. So... We have this whole area is going to be the future cow pen. This will be their winter area. This will come out next spring. We don't need this little jag here. And that little bit of junk's got to get cleaned up. Old fence there. But most of it's gone. There's a few straggler posts. I figure they can use that for uh, rubbing on. Although they're probably going to want to rub on this new fence. So I'll probably be running a strand of electric inside of it just keep from rubbing on it all the time we also have to run uh we gotta run electric on the this uh fence here all the way around but then this will be the bull pen so we'll have a couple two three bulls four bulls whatever we're raising at the time in there and then uh the two horses can be in there with them eventually the heifer and calf lot will be down by the future pole building down there. You can see the post sticking up. It'll be down in that corner. And then the, they can pasture to the north. So. A lot of work left to do. But we're getting there. Made a big gain yesterday by getting that cow pen done. Um, I literally worked sun up to sun down on it. I took a half hour to eat lunch. Katie made an amazing Thanksgiving dinner. And then uh, I was back after it right away. So we got a few things to move around tonight. We got snow. Snow's on the way. 10 to 16. So that's not going to be good. Look at the snow drifts we got in here already. These guys made their way through. I made a little path with the bucket on the tractor, but... Oh, we're going to be plowing cattle lots here shortly, I can tell you right now. These guys are a little bit angry. Some of them. Some of them have already been separated from their calves. Those are the ones that were sold off. So, But these guys are looking good. They're ready to go. Time to be on their own. There's a few, one up there, a few up behind the pile over there. There's, but we're going to make a big jump in the herd this year. We're going to make a big jump in the herd next year, hopefully. And as long as we got, uh, can get the hay ground figured out, 
That's where we're, uh, that's where we're going. Keep growing. Especially as long as the cattle market stays down. If the cattle market stays down, it's a lot easier for me to keep them. Just my opinion. I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. Kind of took a couple days off there. Um, pretty rough time of the year for me. Uh, the day before Thanksgiving was Bob's birthday. Thanksgiving day was the day Bob passed away last year. So, <sighs> rough. Rough. I'm not going to be... I'm not too much of a man to admit that I shed a tear from time to time, and those were kind of, I had to have a few moments, so. Back after today, make it another year, and put my head down and make sure everybody's looking down and they're happy with what I'm doing, so. Hope everyone has a great day. We'll see you again next time.